Enlisting the support of new allies, the heroes move straight to the ancient sanctuary, which holds a second artifact fragment. Try to explore all areas of the map. Brothers, thanks to the new ally, thanks to the new ally's help, we're able to not only get to the sanctuary of the second fragment, but also get ahead of the fallen. Thenebral, Admiral, before we try to penetrate the sanctuary, we need a plan to reach safety with the artifact artifact fragment once we retrieve it. Yes, my friend, and that's why we have to separate. Tolaris and I will try to break through the artifact sanctuary. We will divert all the traders' attention to ourselves. Avalax, you will take a small force of warriors in search of the nearest surviving starport. We will need a ship for transport for safety after leaving the sanctuary. As you order, Thernabral, I hope that you and the Admiral will keep yourselves safe until we return. May a dune watch over you. The time has come, Delinar. We have to move to the Sanctuary. He didn't really add much there. Yes, and remember, young Admiral, there is no fate but what we make for ourselves, and Taro a Dune. So who should we play? We did Laziot last time, so should we do Nerezim? I think we should do Nerezim. Dalinar, time is running out. We must get the second artifact fragment shrine as soon as possible. The sanctuary is protected against direct assault. It is surrounded by a barrier that will destroy anyone. The barrier was created by the Thenebral Council to prevent any attempt at penetrating the sanctuary. The artifact needed to be protected even from our own brethren. But still, it can be disabled. We will have to destroy four Void Crystals with increasingly difficult defenders. This is the only way to disable them. We do not have enough reinforcements to survive a direct confrontation. There must be another way, Delinar. We do not have to break through ourselves, Admiral. Oh, what are we going to do? I have felt the presence of the Zerg Swarm in this area. Some of their numbers must have pursued us through the Warp Gate on Barlow. But now, they have become feral, cut off from the primary swarm. With their help, we will make our way to the Void Crystals. But during the ritual submission, the feral zerg will be too aggressive. It seems that we have no choice. Now, I have been told... I have been told that if you manage to do this mission without recruiting the zerg, you get an easter egg. But it's obscenely difficult. So guess what I'm going to do? Are you an enemy base? Am I supposed to go this way? Yeah. And then if it doesn't work out, I will submit to the powers that be and play the mission as intended. But I figure we should try to do it the really, really hard way. Because I want to see the secret in the final mission. Even though I'm not sure I'll know what the secret is because I hadn't played the mission normally. But you know what? Let's do it. I'm a challenge runner. So we head up over here. Why isn't my gas income going up? Do you need Nexus for Orbital Simulator to work? I think we figured this out before and the answer is yes. Ilmana Dalash. Talaris is a very good hero if you use him properly, so I don't think he's that great. We tarry too long. Okay, this area is secure. It looks like this is the only way that our base can get attacked. Hey, the Shem, thank you. I appreciate it. I was pretty happy with the video when it came out. Initially, I was kind of worried about the fact that I couldn't do the run and that people would not like the video as a result, but 
People were super cool about it. I really appreciate it. That's a door. Hey, Painkiller. Thank you for the third month sub. Oh, no! Painkiller! Save me! Well, I'm in really bad shape now. Can this Archon die, please? Oh, he's got friends. That's not good. I, uh, friendship is the worst. No, 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 no. All right. <laughs> there are some times that it is just not worth being dead if you're doing the challenge run real early. <laughs> then maybe... Maybe don't kill all my stuff for no reason. This is fine. So we're going to return the cargo here. Fastest way to do that is have them all clumped up. And boom, we're rich. I'm going to try to pull this Archon out on his own. Or maybe with a couple Zealot friends, whatever. Because getting surrounded near the cannon was what killed me. That and I'm still not used to this button. Saturating the space, okay. We're about halfway there. Be fun to let Alpha Star have a go with Zealot only and see if it's possible with infinite APM. The problem is a lot of the issues are based on flyers, not anything else. Also, Alpha Star is really dumb. This is one thing that I don't think gets talked about very much, but it doesn't make good decisions. It made a bunch of weird decisions, and that's a lot of the reasons that people would die. I think that as people got to play Alpha Star more, they would do better against it, but they get stuck in these weird environments where you're playing against someone with 15 million precise... Not 15 million. They had an APM limiter, but... 100% mouse accuracy and good micro and really just weird decision making that doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'm not that impressed by Alpha Star. I thought it would be like super smart and mind gaming people. I thought that was kind of the goal and it didn't do that. Oh, shot the wrong guy. Whatever. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? Okay. These guys have Matrix Overload. I gotta be careful here. Pull back, try to keep this guy alive until he gets his next shield activation. He got a shield. We pull this guy back. We micro the Stalkers. Losing the Immortals really bad. Also, this gateway is taking a really long time to build. It was like a tech demo. The problem is it was a tech demo, and then they declared themselves successful before they got to integrate any, or go any further, which I assume is not their fault. It was probably the investors were like, okay, that's cool. Please move on. Before they got to be as done as they wanted to. But it felt like it was a very half-finished project as a result. Expansion. So if I have to reset, knowing that there's an expansion here is really, really valuable. You got Grandmaster as an AI. That's not hard, though. Good mechanics get you to Grandmaster without a problem. And good I guess that is the crux of the issue for me, is I don't believe that good mechanics is what they were looking for. They were looking for intelligence, and the game was just like, hey, I have perfect mouse accuracy, and I can blink like a god, but I'm also a moron. So I guess, you know what, probably average Protoss. <laughs> but, see, I'm getting, I'm getting extra people to like me. Even though I'm a Protoss player, I figured out that if I disparage Protoss, then everybody watches my stream. 
because they're like, oh, he doesn't like the Protoss either, and I died to a Colossus because I don't know what a Viking is. I just can't make him Marines and it died, and he's like me. That's what I do now. I don't know what I can make on this, but I assume it's the Void Ray. Yep, it's the Void Ray. Dark Shrine, whatever. Uh, let's get this upgrade. And start void production, because I think the only way I'm going to beat this easily, or beat this at all, without the Zerg, is to do this. We're going to set up a couple batteries here to help out. And make this work. I'm banking a ton of gas, but I should eventually be able to spend it all. Chrono Chrono, my economy is incredible. Now, what does the Oracle do? You can use Revelation and place a stasis ward that stuns enemy units. Uh, I don't care. If it doesn't have Pulsar Beam, I'm not entirely excited about it. Void Ray, what do you do? Gains bonus range, deals bonus damage to armored units for 10 seconds. Oh, this is the one where you press the button and it becomes Big Laser Boy. I'm pretty sure that I picked the right faction here. Void Rays are really good in PvP. No, no, no. Run, Talaris! Ooh, that was quite the fight. That was a fun one. I somehow... I don't think I lost a unit there. So then we want to get plus two attack. Our suffering must end. We are at full power. And... Do I need more gateways? That is the... Or stargates. That is the question. I'm feeling like the answer is yes. Maybe one more. Yeah, the green black, or teal black? I don't know exactly what color this is, but I agree that this Protoss skin looks really good. So what we're gonna wanna do is figure out how to get to the enemy <laughs> without fighting the Zerg. I guess that's why we have Void Race, huh? They can fly. I want to get hit by one more attack, and then I want to start moving out and exploring the map. This is just one of those campaigns where you cannot be incredibly active early on. This is what I'm learning. Thank you, Karostasis, for the sub. I don't want to make an oracle because it requires a dark shrine, and that's expensive. Uh-oh. Have I waited too long? So that is what you're ready to do for your purpose, Delinar? Kill your own brethren? How you have fallen, Therendral. I do not know how you've managed to get to the sanctuary, but hear your hopes. Oh gosh, that's too fast. He seeks to control the Feral Zerg. If we don't intervene now, they will destroy us. Oh, the Zerg are neutral, I see. So he's going to try to take control of the Zorg. Um, or he's just going to sit here. Hello, my friend. Oh, he's got an orb. Yes, this is the correct composition. So we got five minutes to go destroy a base now? That sounds good. So if what you say is correct, oh, it's <laughs> it's just a hatchery. I thought there'd be more stuff. <laughs> it, the way the cinematic made it looked like there was gonna be a bunch of guys. Oh, 
I might want to leave Talaris at dead. I was going to say home. So now we got the range on these guys, and we're going to just head up over here and try to laser this objective down. Yeah, this looks very approachable. Oh, this has no HP. Alright. Cool fight. Well, this has been very simple so far. Oh! <gasps> I've made a poor decision in life. Systems at full. It shall be oh, they still send attack waves? Well, I need to rebuild because I lost a bit there. I need to make sure my upgrades are in order. Is there music? I want some funky beats, yo. We got my stack defense upgrades. The beams don't get thicker when you activate overcharge, <laughs> so it kind of looks like they're not doing anything. And then we're going to get a bunch of zealots here to help defend. And I'm going to go this way. We can deal with other stuff later. Oh, he's going to be back in a minute and 40. Am I okay with that? The summoning crystal. There should be several more of these. If we can beat them from the traders, we'll get a significant advantage. Okay. You can recall friendly units to its location. Oh, that's good for defense. I guess. Cool. My Void Ray Force is a little bit small. There we go. Bring it up to 16. Put some weird blocker pylons down. Uh, let's get Particle Accelerator. And you know, we're going to wait for Nemesrith to return before we do anything else. And then we can make something happen. Oh, where's he going? So is he going to swing down here? I assume he has to go to the same beacon that I normally would if I wasn't trying for the hard mode thing. Let's get Talaris back. Hey, you told me these guys were hot or were not hostile. <laughs> I've been deceived. Guys, I just said, I've said like seven times I'm doing the hard mode, which is not doing the bonus. Please stop. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I keep repeating it so that people will get a clue. And I just keep getting asked the same question. Uh-oh. Uh no, no, I need this guy. Careful. So we need to go fight him. That's kind of obnoxious. He's far away. I'm going to leave these here to help defend. Let's go engage him. My hero's almost back. I'm almost maxed, but a lot of it is Zealot, and Zealot's not that good of a supply use. So I'm going to try to use these Zealots to pull them over to the cannons this time. Oh, this was a bad fight. We go here. And we hope that this all works out. Looks like it does. And then pull these this way. Oh, the Zerg burrow. Well, I hope they don't unburrow. 
Okay, and then you said try to kill this so they stop sending attack waves, which I can definitely do with a bajillion of these guys. It's so quiet without music. It has to be a bug on this mission. Oh, pull back a little bit. There we go. Activate the shield, activate the stun, and you guys are going to go have some fun. No, I didn't. Music is enabled. Yeah, it's just this mission specifically doesn't have any. There may be, like, some trigger. I bet the cutscene broke up. When this guy appeared from the thing, it turns off the music most likely so it can play another track, and it probably doesn't restart. Easy, easy mistake to make. Alright, one out of four bases is down. We're just going to push to the next one, see how it goes. We have the recall if necessary. I'm maxed. I can start getting some better upgrades. Oh, another recall thing. Very nice. I wonder if there's even more than two of these. I don't remember what the game said. Confused by normal scale void rays. I know that feeling. I had the problem with uh, first time I saw a Thor after we did real scale. I was like, it's so small. Why would anyone be intimidated by this? They sure like anti ground on this mission, don't they? All right. I kind of want to take the ground path just so random stalkers will walk up and die. Yeah, just like this. And we can mow through this base without a problem. The Protoss attack waves are very weak at this point. They're not quite scaling as well as I think they should. And then What's-His-Face is going to return, but we have the two recall pylons, which should be very strong in allowing me to get on top of him very quick. I'm going to make a Dark Shrine just in case I need defensive DTs while I'm out on the map. They're a very supply-efficient way to defend. Then we can take this out. I'm going to assume that he spawns over here. As someone who's played a video game before, I can tell you that's how things usually work out. Oh, he spawned over here again. Well, he has made a horrible decision. That's where all my voids are. Goodbye, friend. As someone who plays video games, I can tell you, definitely the, the top is where he's going to spawn. Yeah, maybe Colossus Zealot's not the best composition for him to defend with, is it? <laughs> And then we head over to this recall pylon, and oh, uh, and then we head over to this recall pylon. Then we slip down the bottom. Don't take that quote out of context. And I'm starting to run out of money. My gas is still fine. It just means I shouldn't build zealots from now on. Okay, we're gonna start attacking here, try to get that range bonus. Oh, Tempest needs to die ASAP. Ouch. Oh, dude. Uh, well, I have freed up my Zealot Supply. Into Void Ray. 
Are there any Tempests being built around here? I don't think so. Tempests are the scary thing because of their splash. Everything else is voidable. So that's three out of the four bases dealt with. Three out of the four attack wave locations dealt with. I think the way that I want to deal with this last one is to teleport up here. And then come in from this side. I was told that this in the challenge run version where you don't get the Zerg to help would be hard. It's been pretty easy so far. If this is the most the game has to bring, we've got this, guys. We're going to be a Dark Story Masters by the end of this. You're right that money is tight. You gotta If you lose a couple armies, I could see this being close to impossible. And they're so heavy in the anti-ground, I don't know how you would beat it if you were going for a super heavy ground force. All right, let's go. It's more fun if I jinx myself. I know what I'm doing. All right, boys. Yeah, this is real close to the edge. We're going to be able to take it down without an issue. Kill the splash sources. Finish off the objective and recall. Not the recall I actually wanted to do. 